Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get you to Oceanside Harbor. From LA, take the 5 freeway southbound, continue past San Clemente and Camp Pendleton. Exit Oceanside Harbor Drive or Highway 76 West. Head west and drop down into the harbor. From San Diego and Mexico, take the 5 freeway northbound, continue past Encinitas and Carlsbad. Exit Oceanside Harbor, head west and same thing, drop down into the harbor. Groundbreaking for the Oceanside Harbor was in 1961. Oceanside Small Craft Harbor opened officially in June of 1963. West of the 5 Freeway, 12 acres of riparian habitat have been designated for the conserved habitat. The estuary at the mouth of the river was dredged in 1964 to create the Oceanside Harbor. The Oceanside Harbor sits on the north side of the river mouth. The Oceanside Harbor and Lower River Channel are owned by the city of Oceanside. You can park in several different parking lots. One of the parking lots is adorned with beach themed wall art. You can find hot java, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the harbor. There's also a kiddie playground and restrooms on the sand to help extend and enhance your visit. This beach features a boat launch in the harbor making it easy for paddleboarders, jet skiers, and kayakers to get into the ocean as well. The harbor offers boat slips, live aboard permits, dinghy racks, yacht club, and live bait. The Oceanside Harbor is home to over 950 boats. The estuary located at the river mouth is a mix of fresh river water and salt water pushed from high ocean tides. You can find a diverse ecosystem that includes sea lions, stingrays, fish, hermit crabs, dolphins, birds, and all sorts of other sea life. The harbor area is best on a medium tide. On a big swell, the harbor can typically produce waves on extreme high tides without a problem. The wind typically plays nice in this area, staying low to moderate for much of the morning and early afternoon. For several reasons, this location can hold wonderful shape even when the wind kicks in. You'll find a sandy beach break mixed with small scattered rocks, kelp, eddies, sea life, and fairly clean water. Oceanside Harbor can hold wave shape comfortably even when the wave size reaches 6 to 7 plus feet. The harbor features lifeguard towers, picnic tables, barbecue grills, gazebos, and showers. There are also restrooms, telephones, a snack bar, and some volleyball courts. In addition, there are 24 fire rings along the harbor beach. The river mouth is reinforced with a jetty that protrudes into the ocean from the shore. A second set of jetties just north of the river mouth jetty, the south jetty, define the harbor mouth used by boaters. Occasionally sand and rocks are dredged from the harbor entrance and pumped south where it is deposited on the shore adjacent to the south end of the river mouth. These deposits help to maintain the beach area and river mouth. Both sides of the shore are blooming with life. The surf in the immediate area is generally good. The combination of features at the shoreline attracts surfers, swimmers, boaters, and outdoor enthusiasts.
Oceanside Harbor can hold wave shape comfortably, even when the wave size reaches six to seven plus feet. Although the location can produce a variety of wave styles, you can typically count on a fairly mushy, frothy wave that can open up to a long line and some bully inside sections. You'll see a variety of surfboard styles in use, including boards with larger noses, a little thick on the front end. The crowd is generally nice with surfers of all levels enjoying the break. There is a good chance you'll run into a marine that is learning to surf on a longboard somewhere in the vicinity. You can get an occasional grumpy local and fairly frequent visits by Orange County surfers in the mix as well. Brought to you by TradeFederation.tv.